Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel, guys. Apologies for the potato cam. Every now and then we have those events in our lives where it's a near miss and it's the sort of things you kind of will never forget and you're carried, carried with me. Uh, this morning, you know, I had a hell of a shock driving down a major A road, just getting out of town and picking up speed and suddenly, um, bang, sort of, <laughs> just something happened and I couldn't see anything. Front windscreen smashes, it all goes black, slam on the brakes, stop the car, and you know, realize then that the front front windshield, uh, sorry, the front bonnet on the car has just flown up and smashed into the windscreen. Um, so damage wise, obviously we've got a bent bonnet and that's not repairable. <laughs> Ain't gonna be able to glue this windscreen back together. It's smashed the bits. <laughs> And the, uh, and the roof is dented as well, and the roof will repair out, obviously. Actually, I can pull some of those out myself. They're flex dents, so they'll come back, but it's still gonna need, still gonna need some expertise that I haven't got, unfortunately. It can all be repaired, and it's not the end of the world. The thing to look out for, like why I opened the video saying, are oh, you a half glass, half full, half empty kind of guy? is it could have been a hell of a lot worse. Um, there was no cars behind me, and there was no cars in front of me, and there was no cars after it happened, there was no cars around. So I was able to stop, put the hazard warning lights on, you know, you work out what happened, got out of the car, and there was a little lay-by, another sort of five or 10 meters up the road from me. So I was able to pull off straight onto the road, the grill had fallen out, pick up the grill, and um, put the bonnet back down, secure it back down, and, and my house was only five minutes away, so I just rolled it back to the house with the hazards on and uh, put it back into the garage now. So it could have been a lot worse, and um, you know, if it had happened on a, on a motorway, dual carriageway, I could be, could be dead. Now, here's the interesting thing. When I set out in the car this, this morning, the, um, the boot, the rear boot in the in the dashboard just has that red light and the rear boot is open which i do quite a lot in this car because the buttons the buttons aren't labeled so i'm pressing the rear a lot of times and opening the boot so i tend to leave the boot open so i remember getting out and popping the boot back down now the bonnet was not open there was no red light on the bonnet or anything like that um so you know i just just assumed the bonnet was closed uh, I've checked it now, and even with the bonnet open, the bonnet open warning light is not on the car. So I think the sensor, if there is a sensor for this car, I assume there is, you, you, if they've got one for the boot and the doors, you would have one for the bonnet, wouldn't you? That's the most important thing. But the bonnet warning light or the bonnet open light is not on. So I think, I think there's a problem with that sensor, wherever it is, wherever it is. And I've just had a thought that I've seen it, haven't I? It's here. That's it there, isn't it? That's it there. Uh, it's, hold on a second. It's got to be it, isn't it? That comes down, hits that. It's closed. That goes down. It's up. That looks like it's. That looks like it's good. I wonder. Looks like it's in the right place anyway. But for whatever reason, that bonnet. Let's just test it right now. Actually, sorry guys. Let's just. Just very curious you know, like if I put the keys in the car so obviously the doors open the bonnet isn't I turn it off pop that rear boot rear boots open open up this thing open but I've got no I've got no front bonnet warning I wonder if this little switch if that is it let me know but that seems like it would be it I wonder if that little switch is broken <laughs> who cares well I do I'm gonna have to find I'm, I'm obviously gonna fix that it's just 
the list of things on this car that were broken or that were not working the list of niggles was vast and I was just getting to the stage where I was getting on top of all of the niggles <laughs> the inside is nearly done uh, I got Ram coming over from Colour Lock to finish painting it's going to help me paint the um, leather we're going to do a video on Alcantara cleaning and refinishing these leathers and then the interior was done and the list of problems that I had left for, on the exterior was getting quite small and you know I've been desperately working away to try and reduce this list and now bang I have a <laughs> it looks like I've got a collision repair project to do now it's just like I've just taken 20 steps back uh, so anyway I'm going to go and try and source a new bonnet and now a replacement bonnet and uh, I'm going to try and pull some of those dents out of the roof now. So guys, um, one other important bloody thing is the catch. This thing's supposed to have a safety catch. So I'm not sure what happened, but I'm assuming the bonnet was not down fully, not c clipped into place, you know. So you have, I'm going to have to hold this with my head have this safety catch here that, that is supposed to stop it flying open it's a bit stiff it's been re-greased um, and I've re-greased the tips of these and in here as well so I wonder I wonder if it's just as simple as it wasn't down properly hadn't clipped into place and the sensors not working so it's like it's almost like the sensors and stuff I think I'd probably, oh Jesus, I don't like the sound of that. I'd probably be moaning about sensors on cars and all the problems that they cause and stuff like that. Especially even with the engine diagnostics. They've got so many sensors in them that go wrong. Um, but those sensors are there for, for a reason, even the engine ones. And this boot opening sensor has failed. It's almost like it doesn't come on. So if it fails, it would almost be better that it would tell you that it was open by default when it was closed. But it's failed in a way that where it doesn't work and tell you if the boot is open when it's so you assume it's closed and that's a dangerous scenario to me and um well it's it's happened now isn't it there's nothing i can do about it main thing is i'm not hurt um but it's a real i mean it's one of those things you know we'll get i'll get get everything sorted and get crack on with the project <laughs> Um, but it's one of those things that just, you know, is quite shocking and um, makes you realise, makes you realise really that life is a very finely balanced thing, isn't it, to say the least. We're all very lucky to be here. Um, but this thing that we take for granted could get snatched away from us in a microscopic millisecond. Um, so... What has this made me realise? I'm going to go and um, maybe go for a walk and just to kind of calm my brain down and th sort of uh, think about some of the priorities and stuff like that. And I'm going to try and learn a little bit from this. But also learning a bit about this, that there are risks involved with, the, with these projects when you're doing a lot of this yourself. Um, although I'm not going to beat myself up about this one. Because I don't think there's anything I could have done about it. Just nothing I could have done about it. Uh, in fact, yeah, I'm just very lucky. So I'm going to go and think these things through now, guys. But part of doing this channel as, as well is kind of sharing stuff. So there you go. A near-miss smash um, with with the uh, 330Ci. Hmm. I was talking about new cars are too fast and too dangerous in another video, wasn't I? The thing with new cars is they don't you know everything is new <laughs> every they, these sorts of problems don't tend to happen um you know the more you bugger around with these really old cars the more things potentially can go wrong although no that's not it's not quite true is it it's not quite true it's not what's happened here but anyway let me know what you make of all this guys um Good to still be here, and I'll see you soon for more updates on this Betty and uh, all the things that I've done on that. It was going well up until this point. Take care. Hold
holding on to what I knew, but the moment's gone. Where was I? 